Ông quý chọc. President, please be seated. Ông chúng tôi nhầm rồi. Cả một tổ và chúng tôi cần để thi sắm lá cờ. Sắm lá cờ này đi. Ông nhầm rồi. Vừa sắm lá cờ sắp đặt khi cầm sắt dây để biên hòa dân niêm. PTCW cùng bay rồi chấp thuận bấy. Today the chamber will hear testimony of the witness. Through TCW873, and if the time permits, we will hear another reserve witness. That is through TCW252. Grazie, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Grazie, Mr. President, for today's proceedings. All parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunci is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his rights to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the Grafi. A witness who is to testify today, that is to TCW 873, confirms that to the best of his knowledge, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is Nunchi and Kiyo Sampon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Iron Club stood through yesterday, and he has Mr. Mom Ratir as a, his duty counsel. Both are awaiting the Chamber's call. We have a reserve civil party today, that is 2 TCCP 252. Thank you, Mr. President. The chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chi. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chi dated 16 September 2015, which notes that due to his health, headache, and back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 16 September 2015 hearing. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at ECCC dated 16 September 2015, which notes that Nguyen Chi has back pain and it becomes severe when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audio visual means, and the Chamber instructs the AB unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can uh, follow it. And this applies uh, to the whole day. Court officer, please usher a witness to TCW873 as well as his duty for counsel through the courtroom. And Councillor Copper, uh, you have the floor. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, as indicated in email earlier this morning to the senior legal officer, um, I would indeed like to make um, oral submissions in relation to a request um, we received yesterday uh, from the international co-prosecutor. Um, it was a request uh, to call three uh, additional witnesses um, uh, in relation to uh, the treatment of the charm. Um, my uh, submissions are not uh, submissions in response um, to the request because we will use the opportunity to file written submissions. Um, but we have two requests uh, to make in relation or in reaction uh, to, this, uh, um, to this request uh, uh, now. Um, the prosecutor. Um, 
the international court prosecutor asked le for three witnesses, as I said. Demandé, dit, um, one of the witnesses uh, the prosecutor asked for was someone who uh, testified here in court in uh, case 201. Um, two others testified as well, uh, uh, but only before. Councillor Copper, the Chamber has just received uh, the uh, document. La Chambre vient tout juste de recevoir le document. And I think you should uh, make your submission this afternoon so that the Chamber will have an opportunity to review that uh, submission. Ce qui laissera le temps à la Chambre de se pencher sur le document que vous avez It is better than to leave this matter for the afternoon uh, session starting from 1.30. Uh, fair enough, no problem. Um, although the request for relief that um, we intend to um, uh, ask is uh, to uh, stop the present proceedings and give us uh, additional time. However, I don't see a problem uh, in having this witness testify in the morning, and then um, we can address the issue uh, after lunch. President, good morning, Mr. Witness. Le président, donc. What is your name? Monsieur le témoin, bonjour. Comment vous appelez-vous? Witness, my name is Tai Kim Hoon. Je m'appelle Tai Kim Hoon. President, Merci. thank you, Mr. Tai Kim Hoon. And when were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Witness, I was born in 1950. Question, and when were you born? Where? Where? Answer, I was born in Uncle Ban to village, or it is also known as Antong Saw village. It is in Uncle Ban commune. Ce village est situé dans la commune. And I married my wife who was from Pim Chikong. Ma femme qui venait de Pim Chikong. Question and where is your current address? And please sir, observe the microphone before you respond. Et attendre que votre micro soit allumé pour répondre. Answer. Réponse. Currently, I live in Sambomirko village, village Kampong Kampong Chan province. Uh, Question. Kampong province de Kampong Chan. What is your profession? Question. Your you occupation? Profession. Answer, I am a rice farmer. Je suis Question, what are the names of your father and mother? Question, comment s'appellent vos parents? Answer. Réponse. My father is Li Tai, Mon père s'appelle Li Tai. And my mother is Kong Mai. Kong Mai. Question. Question. And what is your wife's name? And how many épouse? children do you have together? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous? Answer. Réponse. My wife is Mon Jim Kim Srim. And we have uh, one child. Nous avons un enfant. Actually, we uh, have two childs, en fait, one died enfants, during the uh, Pol Pot regime. Sous le régime de Pol Pot. And Mr. Hakim Hoon, the graduate, made an oral report that, to the best of your knowledge, uh, you do not have any relationship le, uh, to any of the two accused, that is, um, to your accused in court or to any of the civil party admitted in this case. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Réponse, exact. 
President Le Greffier also reported that you already took a oath before the Iron Club statue yesterday this morning. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. And so, yes, I already threw an oath uh, yesterday. President, the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. Your rights as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to being prosecuted. Now, on your obligations, Mr. Dagum Hoon, as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except when your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you. As the, cham the Chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known heard since remember the experience or observe directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. And Mr. Tai Kum Hoon, have you been interviewed by investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? If so, how many times when and where? And so I was interviewed once at Une my home. Chez moi. Question, and do you recall when the, it happened? Question. Et vous souvenez -vous de la date de cette audition? And so I cannot Réponse. recall it, uh, Mr. President. President, that is all right. Le and before you appear before the chamber, have you reviewed Et or read the written record of your statement that you provided at your home in order to refresh your memory? Answer. I have a uh, poor. Uh, I reasoned and I asked my other sibling to uh, read it aloud to me. Et donc on me lu. And Vente. I cannot uh, recall everything. However, I can respond tout. to uh, the questions in relation to questions questions my statements. Que on President, sur ces déclarations and que to your best recollection, is the written souvenir, record of your statements that you have it read aloud to you, consistent with the actual uh, statements you provided uh, during the interview with the, co with the investigator at your home? And so uh, it is about the same. C'est à peu près pareil. President, Mr. Taikum Hoon, now you are being assisted by the GT Council through Obasu, based on your uh, request, and you have Mr. Momre Thier, who is sitting beside you. Have you been introduced to your, your uh, council? Duty Council, Mr. Mr. President, and uh, good morning, everyone. Monsieur le Président, bonjour. I bonjour am à tous. a Duty Council for the witness, and Et I actually made uh, a contact and communicated with my client Et since nous yesterday. Contact hier. President, Mr. Tai Kum Hoon, is that a case? That is what has been stated Monsieur by your duty council. Vous êtes avec ce que vient and de dire votre yes, avocat. that is the case. Le témoin. Oui. President, pursuant to Rule 91B of the ECCC Internal Rules, de la the Chamber will hand the floor to the co-prosecutors first to put the questions to this witness and the combined time for the co-prosecutors and the uh, lead co-lawyers for civil parties are two sessions. Et you may proceed. De, de
Firstly, good, uh, good morning, Mr. President, good, good morning. Jonas, and everyone in and around uh, the club room. And good morning, Mr. Business, my name is Rie Rathana. I am a Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Co I have some questions uh, to put to you in relation to your experience. Question. Where were you living before 1975? In 1975, I lived in the Bomi village, being called Kangmu, Kangmi district, Kampuchan province. Question. Question. And from 1975, did you continue living in the same area, or were you transferred elsewhere? And so I continued living in the same area. Question. Question. So you were never relocated elsewhere Vous été before and during 1975? Let me break my question into two parts. The first part is in relation to your re residence uh, before 1975, and the second part is uh, after 1975. And so, before 1975, I lived in Angkorban number two village, but the, at that time I was uh, unmarried. Mais je n'étais pas marié à l'époque. And in 1972, Puis, en 1972, I moved to live in Sabomi village, Kaumir Sabome, district in Kampung Cham province. Dans le district de Kaumir, province de Kampung Cham. So, did you live? Did you start living in 19, in Sabomi? From 1972 until today. Yes, I've been living there since 1972. Question: Does it mean uh, you only moved uh, from one village to another within the same commune? And please uh, wait till my question. Uh, ends before you respond, otherwise it is répondre. difficult for the uh, interpreters uh, to interpret. Des Do the two villages that you mentioned uh, vous de locate in Kangmi district? Dans le de and uh, PM Chikong and Angkor Ban communes uh, are located in Kong Mi district. Sont dans le district de Ban, de Kong Mi. Since uh, you've been living in Kong Mi district, are you familiar with the uh, old Trokun Pagoda? Du fait que vous habitez dans le district de Kangmer, connaissez-vous la pagode au Trokun? I lived uh, nearby the pagoda. J'habite proche de cette pagode. Question. Question. Which village is the uh, pagoda located in? Dans quel village cette pagode se trouve-t-elle? And uh, oh, the so. pagoda is located in Sabomi uh, village, Bim Chikong commune, Kongmi district, Kampong Cham province. Question: What do you mean when you said uh, you lived uh, nearby the pagoda? Answer. Réponse. My house is located about 50 meters uh, from the compound Ma of the pagoda. De mètres de la pagoda. Question. Question. 
what was the pagoda used for during the democratic Cambodian regime? Question. Et à quoi servait cette pagode sous le régime du Cambodia Answer. démocratique? Réponse. During the regime, the pagoda Ce was régime, transformed into a prison. Est devenue une prison. Question. You said it uh, was uh, turned into a prison. And in what year did that happen? En prison. En quelle année? Answer. I cannot recall that. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Question. Did you know about any event of particular that happened in that uh, prison? De tout événement qui aurait pu se produire dans cette prison. Answer. Réponse. In the pagoda turned prison, I saw uh, people uh, actually being walked into the pagoda. And allow me to tell you that the uh, kitchen hall was just next to the entrance uh, to uh, the road leading de, to the pagoda. Question. Question. How often did you see people being walked Combien into fois, the pagoda? Avez-vous vu que l'on en menait des gens à la Réponse. Assez souvent. Question. Question. You said it's quite often. Oui. Can you tell us the uh, frequency? Pouvez-vous nous dire la fréquence? For example, how many times per day or per week or per Combien month? Combien de fois par semaine, par mois, par jour? Answer. Réponse. Of course, I did not count. Uh, at that time, I was assigned to plow the rice field. So during the, uh, most of the time during the day, I spent uh, plowing the field, and I, I only returned through the kitchen hall during meal time. Question: How many times did you actually uh, witness uh, the event? Combien de fois avez-vous été témoin de cet événement? Answer: uh, It was about four to five times. Quatre ou cinq fois. Question. And you Question. said you saw people being walked in while you were having uh, meals. And que vous what were the times uh, for your gens, meal? Uh, pendant les repas, pendant que vous preniez votre repas. And Quels sir, I had meals at 11.30. Je mangeais à 11h30. Question. Question. Can you clarify the matter? What was the time that you saw people being Question. walked in while you were having meal? Did you have uh, lunch or dinner while you saw those people being Et walked? Pendant le déjeuner ou pendant le dîner? Answer: Réponse. It was right at eleven thirty. Question. And each time that you saw those people being walked into the pagoda, Question. how many of them? Et c'est à cette heure-là donc que vous avez vu que l'on emmenait des gens à la pagode. Combien de personnes y avait-il? And so Réponse. I did not count Je and I was compris. even afraid to, to look at them. J'avais même peur de les regarder. Question. Question. Were there many or were beaucoup? there only a few? Ou que quelques personnes. Answer. Réponse. Sometimes I saw uh, two people being walked into the compound. Sometimes I only uh, saw one Des person. Fois, une seule person. Question. Question. Did you ever witness a group of people being walked? Avez-vous jamais vu que l'on emmenait un groupe de personnes? Answer. No, Réponse. I did not. Non.
question. Question. And uh, you s you said you saw people uh, were being walked there. Indeed. Were they always on foot or were they being transported by any other means, que for example, on motorbike, bicycle, or horse cart? scooter. And uh, they were on foot. Réponse. Ils étaient à pied. Question. Besides uh, being walked on foot, did you see any other means of uh, people being taken into the Pagoda? Answer, no. No. Prosecutor, in order to jog your memory, le procureur, je vais essayer de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. In your written record of interview, when you spoke to the investigator of the office of the co-investigating judges in document E3-5257, the command EA and EA 00243043. Rather, Plutôt. 4303 says the prosecutor 4303, and the French here and is at 00034-2666 and the English here and is at Zero zero two five one zero one six. This You were asked whether you saw uh, prisoners being walked into the pagoda and how many times, and you said you uh, saw those prisoners being taken uh, from the boat uh, for one time. Can you confirm that? Deputy Co, uh, the Defense Council. Deputy Co, President, please Monsieur specify the Khmer Ian again. Le Khmer à the document is E3-5257, says the uh, Co prosecutor, and the Ian is le at 00243103. Answer. No, I did not see uh, non, prisoners non, being taken off the boat. Des because I usually ploughed uh, the field in the forest. Dans la forêt. Question. Question. And uh, about those people that you saw being walked into Ces the pagoda, que vous avez vu que a pagode. were they uh, tied up? Était-il attaché? Answer yes. Réponse oui. Deliver. Question. Question. Were they men or women? Y avait-il des hommes? Ou étaient-ce des femmes? Were there any children, including in that group? Y avait-il des enfants? Answer yes. There were. Réponse. Both. Children and older people. Oui, il y avait des aînés et aussi des enfants. Je comprends très mal question. 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 Were the children tied up? Avait-on attaché les enfants aussi? Answer: Réponse, no, no, they were not. The children were walking behind their parents. Derrière. They were not tied up. Ils n'étaient pas attachés. Question. question. You stated that the children were following their parents. Vous venez de Does dire this mean that uh, they were brought uh, in the entire entire family Cela were brought into that place? Les familles entières étaient emmenées Answer. 
là-bas. I have no idea. Je n'en sais rien. What I could see is that the three or four year old children were not tied up. They were walking behind their parents. Question. Question. Were they tied in lines? Étaient-ils attachés l'un à l'autre? Answer: No, Réponse. they were not. Non. They were tied up separately. Et ils étaient attachés mais individuellement. Question: When they were being Question. walked into that place, alors, were they tortured? Ont-ils été torturés? Answer: No, Réponse no torture non, il pas de was inflicted on them. Question: How many people who uh, were there, who was who were in charge of uh, leading the prisoners into that place? de mener ces gens à la There were two of them. They were quite young. Question. Question. Could you tell the chamber? Pouvez-vous dire à la chambre? About the people who were being tied up, were they si new people or what kind of uh, them? Answer, I do not know whether they were new people or any type of uh, people. Question. Do you know some of them? En connaissiez-vous certains? Answer. Réponse. I have never seen these people before. Je ne les avais jamais vus avant. The people who had been arrested uh, were not known by me, and I have never seen them before. Question, what do you mean by that? Uh, do you know them, or you know them? Question, Answer, I do not know réponse. the people who had been arrested and Je being walked. Question, you made a mention Question. that you do not know those people. Why were they arrested? Pas. Have you got Pourquoi any idea? Était... Pourquoi est-ce que ces personnes... Answer. I do not know what was going on at the time, and I do not know why they were arrested. Question: Were there any people at the pagoda to receive those people who had been arrested? Answer. I never entered into the pagoda myself, so I have no idea whether there were people there to receive the people. Co-prosecutor, you said a while ago that your house was located about 50 meters away from the pagoda. Did you ever hear the music being played inside the pagoda? Answer. While I was working, I could hear the music over the loudspeaker while every time I was at home I did not hear any music. At night time I would go to work to transplant rice settling and and uh, work in the field from uh, 6 to 10 p.m. I heard uh, the music uh, was being played and I could see uh, the torch 
used to light the place very dimly and I was told that uh, people were being killed so I ran away to my house. Question, were you work, uh, working at that time from 6 to 10 p.m. when you said you heard the music was being played? Being played? Answer. In fact, I uh, returned from work at about 9 or 10 p.m. en fait, on that day. Travail, Question. Question. You stated that you worked from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So at what time did you hear the music? À quelle heure avez-vous entendu la musique? Answer. After I returned from work, I heard the music. Question, when did uh, the music uh, stop playing over the loudspeaker? Answer, I did not know when they stopped uh, playing the music at that time. Question. You stated that uh, you heard the loud music uh, uh, being played at around 10 p.m. Did you hear it uh, right after you returned at home? Answer. I heard the music uh, was being played at 10 p.m. and I did not know when the music uh, started. Quand la musique avait commencé. Question. Or could you clarify this Question. point for the court? Uh, when Mais were you marché? at that time and how far was you from the Pagoda president? Please hold on and observe the microphone that before you speak. While you are waiting for microphone to be activated, you can have some time to think of uh, what you're going to respond to the question. I have repeatedly told you about the operation of microphone. Witness, could you repeat your question, please, Mr. Co-Prosecutor? Co-Prosecutor. When you heard the music being played over the loudspeaker, how far were you from the pagoda? Where were you at that time? I want to know the exact location. Answer, I was in front of the pagoda. I was to the east of pagoda. Question. So what were you doing at that time? Were you going somewhere? Answer. I was going to work in the field, transplanting the rice seedlings. Co-prosecutor, Mr. Witness, please listen to my questions carefully, or perhaps my questions are not clear to you. That is why I receive uh, different answers from you. You stated that uh, you returned from work at 10 p.m. And you also stated that uh, you were about 70 meters away from the pagoda when you heard the music being played. So I would like to know where were you at the time and were you going somewhere at the time? Answer, I was uh, going back home from work at that time. When you arrived home, did you still hear the music? Et lorsque vous êtes arrivé chez vous, est-ce que vous entendiez encore la musique? Answer. 
No, I did. I no longer heard the music no, being no played over the loudspeaker at that time after I arrived home. Après être arrivé Question. Question. What was the location of your house? Et où se trouvait votre maison? Answer. Réponse. My house was located to the east of the pagoda. However, I was transferred from my house and I was allowed to live one kilometer away from my house. Question. So at that time, you were not living in your house. You were living about one kilometer away from your house. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. Question, who told you that uh, while the music was being played, uh, there would be Et qui vous a dit que lorsque la musique était diffusée, avait lieu des exécutions Answer. Villagers told me about that. My uh, work colleagues told me. They said that perhaps uh, people were being killed. That's, that's why the music was being played. Question. Did you hear the music often? Est-ce que vous entendiez la musique souvent? Answer. What kind of uh, music uh, you want to know? Co-prosecutor. The music over the loudspeakers. Answer. While I uh, was at work, I could hear the music. Question. Did you hear the music uh, often? Mais est-ce que vous l'entendiez souvent? Answer. I uh, could hear the music being played once in a while. Je l'entendais de temps en temps. Question. Before the pagoda was turned into a security center, did you ever hear Avant the music ne soit being played? Centre de sécurité, aviez-vous entendu que l'on diffusait de la musique? Answer. I heard uh, music, uh, different types of music, uh, played uh, during the daytime and also uh, during nighttime. Question. Question. So you would hear the music Donc, uh, being played uh, before the pagoda was turned into a security center. So centre de when did it happen exactly? You made a mention that after the pagoda was turned into a security Après center, you would hear the music being played once in a while. So before that time, did, had you ever heard uh, this that kind of music being played over the loudspeaker? Answer, before the pagoda was turned into a security Avant center, I would hear the preaching by monks being played over the loudspeaker. Question. Question. Besides the loud music uh, being played over the loudspeaker, did you diffusée. hear any other music or screaming? I am asking you about uh, the sound from the pagoda. What kind of sound did you hear from the pagoda? Answer. 
answer. I only heard uh, the loud music being played over the loudspeakers. La musique qui était forte et qui était diffusée par haut-parleur. Question. Question. Every time you witness people were being marched into the Baguda during the daytime. Témoin. Did you hear the music being played at night time or uh, at daytime? De scènes uh, au cours desquelles les gens étaient accompagnés à l'intérieur de la pagode, est-ce que vous entendiez la musique de Answer, jour ou de nuit? I uh, cannot uh, get your question, Mr. Co-prosecutor. Question. On the day that question. you saw people were being walked, into the pagoda. Que l'on accompagnait des gens à l'intérieur de la pagoda. Did you hear the music being played at night time on that day? De la musique. Answer. I do not know where the prison, where the people were put into the pagoda. As I told you, uh, while I was returning from work, I could hear the music being played. Question. Did that happen on the day that you saw people were being arrested, being marched, rather? Answer. No. Sometimes I uh, could hear the music being played. Question. You Question. use the term sometimes. Perhaps uh, there parfois. were uh, on some occasion that you could also hear the music being played. Il y a donc eu peut-être plusieurs occasions. Let me rephrase my question. Je reformule ma question. You often heard the music being played over the loudspeaker while returning from work. At that time, perhaps you were about 50, 70 meters away from the place where the music came from. Did On the day, on the night that you heard the music being played, was it uh, that day that you witnessed people were being marched into the pagoda during the daytime? Answer. I did not always see people were being much into the pagoda. Sometimes I spent my time at the work site, co-prosecutor. My apology, perhaps my questions are too complicated for you and you cannot get uh, the gist of them. I uh, would like to simplify my questions. Now, you stated that you Witness people were vous being marched into the pagoda. What happened to them after they were put into the compound of the pagoda? Answer: I do not know what happened to them, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Question. Uh, did you understand my last question or you do not know what happened to them? Question. Uh, what happened to those who had been brought into the pagoda? President, uh, please hold on, Mr. Witness. You have the floor now, Mr. Cooper. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I think now the time has come to object to these questions. They are repetitive. Uh, the underlying assumption is that. Um, Music was only played, uh, presumably, when people were killed. 
I mean, there's also the option that music was played and nobody was killed. Uh, the, under, the other underlying assumption of the prosecution is that um, whenever people were brought in, uh, they would be killed the same night. That's also a presumption. Um, the witness has clearly answered that he sometimes heard music and uh, that he doesn't know what happened inside. I think that's all he can say, and prosecutors should now refrain from asking over and over again the same question. nhầm ai xua dùng nua mấy bán bàn tay và hai chị mau bị I can rephrase my question but I did not ask whether the people were killed inside the pagoda I only asked what happened to those people who had been brought into the pagoda document E3 slash 5257, Eon in command, 00, 24, 31, 07, in English, 00, 25, 10, 21, French, 00, 34, 26, 72. You provided answers to the investigators of the OCIJ, you were asked, Du bureau des what d'instruction qui vous demande did they do to the prisoner who had been brought into the pagoda and your answer is that they were killed in front of the pagoda so my question is how do you know such incident President, please hold on, Mr. Winnet. You may now proceed. Council Gongsam on. Council Gongsam on. Thank you, Mr. President. I think the question put by National Deputy Co-Prosecutor has no uh, foundation. He did not ask any basic general question first before he went to ask such a question. So please, uh, co-prosecutor, uh, rephrase your question. Co-prosecutor, let me clarify this point with you, Mr. Co-prosecutor. Prosecutor, you have testified before the chamber that you do not know about the killing. Before the investigators of the OCIJ, you stated that the prisoners were killed in front of the pagoda. So which version of your testimony is correct. Is it uh, the statement in the OCHA written record of interview or the statement before the chamber now? Answer. I do not know. I did not know whether the prisoner were killed in front of the pagoda at that time. However, later on, after the end of the regime, I learned about this. Co-prosecutor, how did you know that those people were killed after the end of the regime? Where did you learn from? Answer. Villagers went to see the grey pits. Les villageois sont allés voir les fosses. Question. How large were those grey pits? Quelle était la taille de ces fosses? Answer. There were large and small grey pits. Il y avait des fosses grandes Question. Et des fosses How many grey pits uh, were there? Combien de fosses y avait-il?
And so I did not uh, count them. Je ne les ai pas comptés. <coughs> Question: Could you give your estimate how large uh, the small pit walls and how large the large pit walls? And so I cannot tell you the estimate, Mr. Mr. Coprosecutor. Question, what did you see inside the Question. great pits when you, together with villagers, went to see the pits? Answer, I did not go to observe the the things inside the pits. Réponse, However, villagers told me that uh, there were skeletons. Question, what about clothes Question. or any parts of, uh, you know, what, what about clothes and uh, other belongings? Et autre effet personnel. Answer. I was told that uh, there were clothes uh, in their, those pits. Question. Did Question. they tell you what types of uh, clothes they were? Did they tell you that uh, those clothes belonged to Khmer people or any type of people? Ces vêtements appartenaient à des Khmer ou Answer. I was told that uh, they were normal clothes. Réponse. On m'a dit que c'était des vêtements normaux. Question. What do you mean by that? Question. Qu'est-ce que vous entendez par là? The answer, I do not know whether the clothes belong to any other ethnicity, but uh, I was told that uh, they were normal clothes as uh, we uh, used to wear. Mr. President, I would like to hand over the floor to my esteemed international co-prosecutor. President, you may not proceed, co-prosecutor, for the international side. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Uh, good morning to the public. And good morning, witness. When, when did you go to the pagoda after the fall of a democratic campuchia? Did you go immediately after, in January 1979? or Après sometime after that. I actually entered the Pagoda compound right in 1979 when the Pagoda was being rebuilt and refurnished. And is your evidence correct that you can't remember how many pits there were and how many were small and how many were large? Is that your evidence? It's hard to remember the numbers of pits. Grosse, petite, il est difficile de se souvenir de ces détails. Yes, uh, that's what I said. C'est exactement ce que j'ai dit. And is it your evidence that you could see the pits, but you're saying that you didn't look inside the pits to see if there were bodies in there or not. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. I did not look uh, inside the pit since the stench was rather strong. And what was the stench of? Question. What was the smell? It was the stench of her corpses. 
Do you know a person called Chia Mali? Connaissez-vous quelqu'un du nom de Chia Mali? As you refer to Chia Mali, the uh, commune chief, if there is the test, yes, I do know him. And was Chia Mali, was he a, a Buddhist monk uh, before 1975? One Buddhist. Yes, he was a man uh, oui. staying in that uh, pagoda. And do you remember Question. whether he went to uh, the pagoda after 1979 or uh, early in 1979 to look at um, the pits? Do you remember whether he went there or not? The uh, commune chief was a man there, and, or had been a man there until the time that it, he was asked uh, to disrobe. And later on, he got uh, married to a woman whose house was not far from the pagoda. Thank you for that. And do you remember whether he went to look at the pits as well? I do not know whether he actually went uh, to look at those bits as my house was uh, far from his. Are you able to say when he was disrobed as a monk? Um, like in, in 1974, 75, 76 or, or any other time? When was he disrobed as a monk? I cannot recall the year. Réponse, je ne me souviens pas de l'année. You may not recall the year, but um, was it in the democratic Kampuchea regime between 1975 and 1979? Um, can you say that or can you not? He was living there between 1975 to 1979. He was not uh, relocated anywhere. But when the um, when the what when the pagoda was turned into a security office, was he still living there? Or when the when he disrobed, did he have to leave? After he disrobed, he left the pagoda and uh, went to live uh, with his uh, family. And was he forced to disrobe or did he do it by his own choice? He was forced uh, to disrobe. And who forced him to do that? Réponse. On l'a forcé. Question. Qui l'a forcé? It was the uh, Khmer Rouge group. Thank you. I'd like to put a, um, a statement that he made about when he went to the Wat um, and saw the pits. And also about 
when he disrobed. If I can put that statement to you, and, and if you can tell me, give me your reaction to it. Tell me whether you think it's accurate or not from what you were able to see when you went to the Watt um, early in 1979. <coughs> and I'm referring to E3 slash 7827. English 0021-0432-33, Khmer 0063. President, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please uh, repeat the document number and the year and uh, slowly. Thank you. Um, sorry, Honor, for speaking so fast there. E37827. English 0021-0432-33, Khmer 0063-5155-56, and French 0062-0031. And witness, this is what um, Chiamali told the investigators as to what he saw. When I visited the Watt in 1979, after the end of the Khmer Rouge regime, the Watt itself had been removed, except for one monastery that had been used by the Khmer Rouge for security. I saw cuts and holes in the wall in front of the temple there were about 100 to 150 pits. I saw these both in early 1979 and at the end of 1979. Some pits had five bodies and some others contained 50 to 100 bodies. The pit sizes ranged from about 2 metres by 2 metres to 5 metres by 5 metres. The pits were not there when I left the Watt in April 1976. So they had to have been created between April 1976 and early 1979. The area in which the pits were located has since been used for plantation. The remains that have been collected are just a portion of the bodies buried there. The remains in the stupa at Wat O Trakon are only about three tenths of the total number of bodies that were there. Witness, he said a, a number of things in that statement, but what's your comment in relation to that statement? Does it seem accurate to you, inaccurate? Can you give us a comment about what he saw? I object to this question, Mr. President. He just said that uh, he didn't actually look into it. Um, he has no knowledge. He's not in a position to confirm the statement. He can give a comment. I don't have a problem with this. But we just established that um, that would be what he's asking the prosecution is beyond the realm of his, of his knowledge. So I don't think that is a fair question. Comment, fine, but not on the specifics. Your Honor, I haven't asked him about the specifics. I just asked his reaction whether he felt it was accurate or inaccurate. He clearly knows a lot about uh, the pits there because he went there. Um, perhaps rather than have a debate, can you please comment on what Chiamali said? President, uh, Witness, please hold on. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre.
The objection raised by the Defence Council for Nunchi is overruled. The question is permissible. And uh, Mr. Witness, please respond to the last question put to you by the Deputy Co Prosecutor. Witness. I do not uh, make any contact or discuss any matter with the community regarding the, the pits or the number of pits. So I do not know the actual uh, number of pits there. Thank you, but you did go to the what. You testified that you went to the what um, to see the pits. That's correct, isn't it? Yes, I went to the what uh, in order to prepare for the religious ceremony, but not to pay particular attention to the pits. I went to actually clean up the area to pile the broken materials there. Just one last question, Your Honour. Um, witness, you talked about the stench of corpses, uh, human bodies. Um, do you know um, whether bodies were, were removed from the what? from those pits? Were there any exhumations of those bodies si ces corps ont été taking them out exhumés. of the pits? Des the remains uh, were gathered and start at a stupa which is located uh, just in front of uh, the uh, temple. And actually, uh, the uh, fund forbidding the stupa was uh, from Excellency Mao Pirund and the current Prime Minister. President, thank you, Co Prosecutor. It is now appropriate for a short Merci. break. We we'll take a break Nous now and uh, return at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the uh, witness uh, during uh, the break time at the waiting room for witnesses and civil pause. parties and invite him as well as the duty council back into the courtroom at 10 30.